This is an overview of Shure's Designer System Configuration software. Shure Designer software is used to set up Shure audio systems end-to-end, -end, consisting of microphones, network mute switches, processors, and loudspeakers. We'll start with a basic tour of the software and then get into specific features, such as setting up audio coverage or optimizing the entire audio system with the click of a button. Starting at the home page, you see My Projects. This is where you start when you open Designer. Projects can be used to organize different client companies you're working with or different buildings across a campus, for example. Double-click into a project to create rooms within that project. For those who have used Designer versions 4.4 or earlier, you'll notice that locations are now called rooms, which can be further organized within folders. Rooms can be in an online state, indicated by the green dot, or offline state, represented by an empty circle, or simply awaiting deployment indicated by the door outline icon, but without any online-offline indication. Within a project, you can select New and choose to work on a live room directly if you are actively connected to the devices on a network. Or you can work on a room design that you will deploy later. Click New, then Folder, enter a name, and click Create. Now you can double-click into that folder to create rooms or to add additional subfolders. To place an existing room into a folder, click the More Options menu on the right of the desired room and select Move. In the dialog, double-click the desired folder and click Move. Double-click the folder afterwards to confirm your room is in the desired folder. If you need to deploy a room design to multiple rooms, you can easily create duplicates of the design by selecting the desired rooms row, select the More Options menu to the right, and select Duplicate. This will create a duplicate room design in your current project and folder. Repeat this for as many rooms that you will need. Each duplicate can then be deployed later to the online devices in those future rooms. Each room design file can be deployed only once, but any number of duplicates can be created quickly in the same project folder using Save a Copy. Additionally, if you need to make a copy of your design for use in a different project, select the room, select More Options, and Save a Copy. This method will bring up a dialog where you select a different project folder to send the room design copy. Lastly, if you have upgraded Designer from version 4.4 or earlier, your templates have been stored in a new folder called Templates. Whenever you need to use one of these designs, click the More Options menu to the right of the desired design and select Save a Copy. Then select the desired folder for your copy. Next is Online Devices. The Online Devices list will automatically discover and display Sure devices that are on the same subnet, and you can also add cross-subnet devices here as well by adding their IP addresses. If you have already entered an IP address list for your project, you can also select that project's IP scope rather than re-enter addresses. To access any device from the device list, click anywhere on its row and click Configure, or simply double-click it to get to that device's specific settings. This is very similar to the workflow of the Shure Web Device Discovery application and Shure's browser-based device interfaces. So if you want to set up and or troubleshoot a specific device, then going to the online devices list and double-clicking one is the fastest way to do that. As of Designer 4.2 and later, there is built-in firmware update capability. You can update firmware if needed for devices on the same subnet and cross-subnet from the online devices list. 
If you have internet access when you open Designer, you'll see any new available firmware files in this column. Check one or more devices that will receive updates and select Send Updates to send the new firmware to the selected device or devices. One last feature of the online devices list is that you can quickly see which devices are already assigned to rooms, and by clicking on the room name, you'll open up that room. You can also select an unassigned device and easily add it directly to an existing room by selecting Edit Room then Add to Room. Or, if the device is already part of a room, you can select Remove from Room. Next is the Event Log. The Event Log in Designer is tracking system events for different actions you've taken in Designer. It also tracks basic device information like device offline and device online. This log can be exported to a .csv file to send to Sure support if needed. There are also device-level event logs. If you double-click a device, you can export that device's individual logs that are always on and running while the device is online. Last is Settings. Most notably, you can set your network interface for discovering Sure devices here. If you are not discovering devices on the online devices list, it points you to the NIC settings here. So make sure you have the right network interface selected. There are also other features on this page, such as enabling automatic firmware downloads, setting the event log history, helping Sure improve Designer with analytics, and the version of your Designer software.